The European Union has unveiled a groundbreaking 1 trillion euros Green Deal investment strategy, aiming to transition all of Europe's energy production to 100% renewable sources by 2050. This ambitious objective has gained global attention, and it's achievable with existing technologies. With 1 trillion euros investment, we can make significant progress towards this objective in just 27 years. California's move towards solar energy that without careful analysis, it is incredibly easy to waste millions upon millions of dollars on renewable energy resources when they are not properly integrated into the grid. California has to disconnect a huge portion of their solar panels from the grid in the summer months because there is no demand for the electricity they produce. The wasted power is continually rising as more and more solar panels are installed with a record high curtailment of 190,000 megawatt hours wasted in April 2019, enough to power 17,300 homes for an entire year. Wasted energy is wasted money. This waste could have been avoided without the need for expensive energy storage. Explore the planned European supergrid. The primary reason California curtailed that sickening quantity of power last year was because its level of interconnectivity with its neighboring states is dismally low. California has an opportunity. Its climate is ideal for solar generation, so much so that they produce more than they need. They have a few options on what to do with this. They could create new industries that could use that excess power like water desalination or hydrogen generation plants. They could store the energy using pumped hydro or batteries so that they could use the solar power at night. Both of these options get a lot of attention, however, today we're going to explore a method that would solve California's excess power problem at a fraction of the price a simple but effective method to trade energy with its neighbors. Grid interconnectors. Grid interconnectors are simple enough in principle. They are just large, high-voltage transmission cables that allow traditionally separate grid markets to trade energy with each other. The Californian government has so far resisted the prospect of joining a wider interconnected grid as they would lose governance of their energy markets. The new, larger regional market would be under the control of the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, whose commissioners are appointed by the President. Their primary concern is, however, that joining the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission will force them into propping up carbon-intensive energy sources like coal from other states. On the contrary, Joining a regional market like this would allow California to export all of that excess solar power for a profit while importing cheap excess wind power from states like Montana, Wyoming, and New Mexico, allowing California to reduce its dependence on natural gas power plants to pick up the slack on darker days and ultimately reduce the cost of electricity and move them closer to their green energy goals. Unity across borders will be essential to achieving the ambition of clean energy, and the European Union is in a strong position to be an example for the world and what this will look like. The continental European electricity grid is already the largest synchronous electricity grid in the world. This is the map of Europe's current cross-border interconnections. Each member state is constantly buying and selling energy to each other to manage their supply and demand. Denmark regularly produces excess wind, and instead of curtailing it, they will sell it to its neighbors, like Norway, who take advantage of the cheap power to fill their pumped hydro reservoirs. They can later release the water and sell the electricity when demand is high. Interconnection like this creates a more diverse source of power where different regions can benefit from their advantages in climate and geographic features. Norway, Sweden and other mountainous regions can confidently invest in pumped hydro facilities, knowing that they will have a market to buy cheap electricity to fill them and the market to sell it at a higher price. Western regions of Europe can take advantage of the strong Atlantic winds. Iceland and Italy can increase investment in easily accessible geothermal power, while sunny southern regions can continue building cheap solar farms. 
you don't even necessarily need to send power over long distances, which can result in transmission power losses. If Spain is generating an excess of solar power while Denmark is producing too little wind, France can act as an intermediary buying cheap solar power from Spain and selling some of its own nuclear power to Denmark instead. This requires a common market and a high level of cooperation between members. But if it succeeds, it is estimated that a well-connected grid will save European customers between 12 and 40 billion new rows annually by 2030. All the while reducing pollution from fossil fuels, it's clear that interconnectors can provide grid stability and reduce electricity prices. And so part of that 1 trillion new rows green energy fund will be set towards strengthening the connectivity between member states and creating the European supergrid. For example, the Celtic interconnector, which will join Ireland's grid to the French grid, will receive 530 million new rows in investment from the European Union, while the Irish and French grid providers will fund the remaining 470 million new rows required to complete the connection. This interconnection will have a capacity of 700 megawatts and will be capable of powering 450,000 homes. The connection will allow Ireland to continue benefiting from its stormy position on the edge of the Atlantic by growing its wind portfolio and selling the excess wind energy to the continent, while also benefiting from France's nuclear and hydroelectric plants. During camp days, this is just one of many interconnectors planned, and the European Union has stated a goal of a minimum of 10% interconnection for all member states by the end of 2020. That means that they must have interconnections capable of transporting 10% of their total electricity capacity at any time. Countries like Spain have been lagging behind, but gradually catching up. A new interconnection opened in 2015, tunneling through the Pyrenees Mountains for 8.7 kilometers. Another subsea connection crossing the Bay of Biscay is expected to become available by 2025. There are many more interconnections under construction, and this target level of interconnection will raise to 15% for 2030 and will continue raising over time. Eventually, this will grow into what is being dubbed the European Supergrid, which could eventually grow to even include solar energy-rich North Africa. In conclusion, Grid interconnectors can help California's excess solar power problem by trading energy with neighboring states. The European Union's interconnectivity efforts aim to create a super grid and save billions while reducing pollution.